industry on parade visits a cracking plant. Not a petroleum refinery, obviously, but the Portland plant of the Northwest Nut Growers, where the cracking operation consists of separating nut meats from their shells. Many tons of these walnuts and filberts will be cleaned, grated, and packaged in the shell, of course, but most of them will be delivered to customers ready to eat. How would you shell this many nuts? For years, it was done by machines that worked more or less like a hand nutcracker. But like a hand nutcracker, too often it crushed the meat along with the shell. Now it's done with a quick charge of high voltage, high amperage electricity. Inside one of the machines, 25 nut shells are exploded every second, leaving the nut meats intact. Compare this with the speed of earlier methods, still employed on nuts too small for the electric nutcracker. However they are cracked, the nuts will be sorted from the shells by being whirled in closed machines called cyclones, in which a continuous blast of air separates the shells from the heavier nut meats. But no machine can yet do what these women do, cull out the nuts that are discolored or otherwise defective. From the caveman cracking nuts with his teeth, progressed to the hand cracker, then the mechanical cracker, and now the machine that does it with electricity. Who knows what's next?